Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nettie here. Um, today I am going to do my July favorites. So let's just get right into them. So this month, um, you guys know that I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I only have two um, kind of beauty products per se. Um, I have really been enjoying uh, my Sephora eyeshadows. Um, these are those jumbo crayons. And I've been really reaching for this silver one this month. It just gives a little bit of brightness to your eyes, and I've just I just love the ease of these. Um, I'm not a big eyeshadow person, so these just are just so great, and I've been loving them. I actually have the silver on today. It just gives a little, just a little um, glitter on your eye, and I also put it in the center here to um, just give my eyes a little bit of um, shine and shimmer. So I've been loving that. And then the other item that I um, seem to always uh, reach for during the summer months, I've had this um, lipstick for, you know, probably since last year. Um, it's the Estee Lauder and it's the Pink Parfait Shimmer in number 61. I'll show you there. Oops. And this is just a great, great little lipstick. And it's just got, it's a nice little pink. And it's got a nice shimmer to it. And you can see it's really, really pretty. And I'm actually wearing it today. It just looks really good when you have a tan. And it just is that, just a nice, subtle little pink colored. So I've been loving that. So those are my um, makeup items. And another item that I have been really just drinking nonstop um, is this Bigelow's Green Tea with Mango. I picked some of this up and it's just delicious. It's refreshing and and it's just wonderful. Um, so I'm you know highly recommending this green tea. And I bought tons of boxes of it. So <laughs> I'm going to be drinking a lot of it. Other items that I picked up this month is yes, I drank the Kool-Aid guys. I picked up this uh, Mary Kondo book and I've been reading it and uh, just I'm going to see if I can uh, declutter my closets a little bit more and actually you know the house as a whole and um, see if uh, this uh, methodology works <laughs> so I'll let you know how it goes but it is it's a good book it's, I, I've been reading it about halfway through it so I'll let you know but I've been enjoying that this month. The other um, just accessory items that I have been using this month are um, the Louis Vuitton um, glass case in the size MM and it, this is the monogram. Um, my old glass case uh, just like broke so I've switched over to this permanently for both my regular eyeglasses and for my sunglasses. So I've been using this in all of my regular size bags. It fits perfect, it's nice and slim, and uh, just works great. So I've been really, in, I'm glad I've got that and I've enjoyed that. And another of my accessories that I've been wearing a lot this month is uh, this Burberry belt. This is the house check belt, and it has the little um, piece of leather down the center. And it just goes so well with uh, my jeans and my, you know, just my, sh my cutoff short jeans and little black pants. It looks great with white pants. So I've just been wearing it a lot this month. And also it goes great with my Burberry sandals, which I've been wearing a lot because of the sun and the hot weather. And uh, so just another item that I've been using. 
And you guys all know that I am such a big t-shirt fan. Um, so when I looked and, uh, and sorry, I'm just angling this down. Uh, I just wanted to share with you this new t-shirt that I got. And it's by Simply Jewels. And it's just like the cutest thing. I saw it on Instagram and I just, I just had to have it. So I ordered it. But when I looked back to see, you know, what, what have I really been wearing and enjoying this month? I've, I, it's mainly t-shirts and shorts because of the, we've had great weather all month. And um, other from going to work in my regular work clothes, as soon as I get home, I change into just shorts and a t-shirt. So, um, you know, these are just some of the t-shirts that I've been enjoying this month. Um, I've been wearing this little Celine t-shirt. Um, I've worn this um, Kate Spade t-shirt that I got this month. Um, another t-shirt that I've really been enjoying is this one with this design on it and I got this one in Paris so um, I've been enjoying that one I just just a few of the ones that I've really enjoyed this one from J. Crew has the little seahorses on it and then also this one from Madwell and it's got the Paris on it and when I look back to see which are the t-shirts that I have been wearing the most just in this month or so, these ones always are on the top of, uh, of the pile. So those ones are the ones that I've been enjoying. And now this one it will be added to it because it's a very, um, very loose and comfy and it's a very soft cotton. So um, I will put the link below if you're interested. but. Uh, those are the you know main t-shirts that I've been wearing this month and then um, also in um, for clothing wise I've been using um, these an awful lot and these are my American Eagle distressed cutoff jeans so they're they're just my handy handy piece to change into when I get home from work it's just like oh throw get every get all that work clothes off and get these nice comfy soft you know cut off jeans just to you know be casual around the house and you've seen me wear them on weekends a lot too so I just like I just gravitate towards those right now the other thing I have really enjoyed this month um, are these Chanel ballet flats um, I've been wearing them with you know all sorts of things this month with my, with my jeans, with, um, with dresses, with my skirts. They are just a really versatile little shoe. Um, can't capture the color too well because it's black and navy, but they just are so comfy. And as I wear them more and more, they, they are just getting more and more comfortable. And I'll do a full review, um, actually on these, but, um, they're just one of my favorites this month. I've worn them several times. And last but not least, uh, my bag of the month. I have been, you know, really trying hard to um, alternate bags all month and at least use uh, one every week. But the one that I did use for the last two weeks, and now I've transitioned into another bag, but um, I have to go keep on going back to um, my Chanel GST I have been I use this uh, you know I guess two weeks out of the out of the month so I would have to say that this month uh, she takes the <laughs> takes the award for favorite bag and uh, like I say I can't say enough about this bag I love this bag uh, it's very very easy and very versatile and um, you know a lot of people ask um, how I um, do with carrying it over my shoulder and um, I I have no problems with it I just you know sling it over my shoulder and you know get through the crowds get through the subways um, with it and have no problems whatsoever 
So she is my, uh, makes my favorites this month again. So that is all for my favorites, but I did want to share with you one other thing because uh, a few people asked me to share with them my uh, picture frames. I did a haul of uh, picture frames uh, a few weeks ago and um, I told everybody that I was going to use those picture frames to frame my designer bags and uh, you know one of my walls in my girl cave is all designer bags so um, three of these items that I framed and I'm just going to show you and how I frame them so this is, oh, there, there's going to be some uh, glare. This is the Hermes bag that I framed in the black frame, and it's in a like type of a shadow box. So I did that one. And my Kate Spade one I put in the gold frame. So, oops, <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of glare. Sorry, guys. And I thought that would look very nice on my wall. So it, she turned out really nice. And last but not least, I was considering just uh, framing my um, little Tiffany bag in the little white frame that I had bought, similar to um, the one that the Hermes bag's in. It was just a white shadow box. But then I bought um, another black shadow box, which is a lot larger. So I decided to do something a little different. And I think I told you guys, you know, in my haul um, that I might think about doing it, but I did do it. So for you girls that gave that suggestion, and uh, thank you very much. And this is how it turned out. So what I did in this, sorry, I've got an itch. <laughs> so, so what I did was um, in this shadow box, I put the bag, the Tiffany bag in, and then I put the little pouch, and I put the top of the, um, the little Tiffany box, and I retied the bow. And by the way, for tying this bow, I did follow um, Sna Snape HBP's video on how to retie your designer bows. So I'll put her link down below. But it really, it was a great video and it looks wonderful. It looks exactly like they did it in the store. And uh, so it worked out wonderfully. And so I'm going to put that up on my wall. And I thought that looked really cute. So that is all of my July favorites and uh, a little bit of a cleanup and uh, just a... a show and tell on my DIY project. Anyways guys, hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!